Okay, I actually got a pen here. I'm going to try to do write something uh, with the Neo Mano. I can figure out how to get this in my hand. So there, I've kind of got a grip. This is a, a pen with somewhat of a rubberized grip. The fingers are curling in. Um, it's not the most ideal. And I can't really see my thought, my the writing under my under the thumb, so I can't really see what I'm writing. Uh, but I did sign my name, although rather messy. <laughs> Let's see if I can do that a little better. Now I can kind of see the pen tip. Oop. I don't have a grip. Um, it's trying to, my fingers are trying to kind of almost squeeze it up against the motor housing um, on my index finger. That's not really working well. Well, now I've kind of got it squeezed a little bit between my two fingers. But again, I can't see what I'm writing. Um, so, a um, little room for improvement. But also, let's, let's compare this against the power grip in a different type of grass situation. Well, as I took the Neo Mano off, I wanted to show you my fingers here. Kind of purple, lots of marks, marks on the side of the hand. Um, not to be unexpected. They're, they're fading. I only had it on, though, for about 20 minutes. So if you're trying this for the first time, something to be very aware of. Now, those fingers are really tight on me. I think I need an extra, extra large. You can actually see those marks right there down the side of my finger. <laughs> uh, kind of an odd colored mark. Um, and on this side, left it kind of white and everything. So I think I need a, I really need an extra, extra large. I, this is an extra large, and it's just not big enough for my hand. But that's something to be aware of that, uh, you know, where you can't see how it's impacting your hand. So you really need to observe that after half an hour, take it off, try it again after two hours. And, uh, but that's the same with the power grip when it's new. With the power grip, you can see your hand a little more, um, but you do need to still observe into that. So let's go ahead and get the power grip put on, and we'll try that. Now, Carla helped me put the uh, power grip on, but one thing to note is we've done this for, and I've used this for uh, 15 years or more, 17 years, so I'm, I am an expert. It's finely tuned and adjusted for me. Um, one of the differences now, we run the wire up the inside of the sleeve, down, down the person's shirt, uh, and plugs into the controller, so that's out of the way rather than wearing it on the arm. One less thing and a little bit less to get caught. You know, we want that wire to not have to get caught on things. I was also able to put this on in about 30 seconds, just three quick straps. I can also take it off by myself, where I would not be able to do that with the Neo Mano. Uh, but that's the nature of trying to put some leather, leather grips on there. So power grip, you can see the grasp here. It's moving the MP knuckle, not the DIP or PIP. And the thumb is stabilized by metal reinforcements on a typical, this is actually a tino, modified tenodesis orthosis that have been around since the 1960s. Um, but now I can get a good solid grasp on that glass of water. Drink, and set it back down. Similarly with the soda, I can get a good natural grasp on that. Push it in my hand slightly more. Um, that's not going anywhere. I can drink that. I can actually open it with my teeth. And if I squeeze it in a little more, I'll crush it in the sides of the can. But that's about the limit. We want the grass to be as strong as possible without causing damage to the fingers. Uh, similarly, spoon. Now we'll see the difference here how we do this. It slides into this little pocket. So now I've got a, a stabilization point. Somebody can even hand me it by just sticking it into that pocket. Line up the fingers with the thumb. And now I've got a good three-point grasp there. So that three-point grasp is what we're missing 
with the power grip. Now, admittedly, I've got a, a shortened thumb uh, that was amputated uh, when I cut it off at a year and a half old. So I have a little thumb, prosthetic thumb tip extension that would need to be added for the Neo Mano, as I talked about. But even with a, a, the thumb tip in there, um, it, the, the whole thumb just needs a little more reinforcement, I think, for anybody. Um, and we can see here, similarly, I'm going to have difficulty getting water on the spoon. I can get a little bit um, without inclining this bowl, just by the nature of how deep this bowl is. But if I do the same, same thing, I've got a very natural hold on that spoon to bring it up to my mouth. And uh, it's just a natural grasp, natural the way most people will hold a spoon or a fork. Similarly, if this is a fork, and I'm eating salad, I've got strong enough grasp that I can do that, and it's not coming out of my fingers. Um, where if I'd have done that with the Neo Mano right now, it would have just fallen away. Um, so those are a few little pieces or rooms for improvement or differences. Um, and I, I want to admit, I, I don't want to, this, I'm not trying to do this as a marketing thing or saying how the power grip's better. It works better for me because, of course, it was designed that way. Um, and I have hundreds of disabled folks using that. You can see I just picked up that pen without using my other hand. I can see what I'm doing. I can see what I'm writing. Again, I have not practiced with the Neo Mano more than 20, 30 minutes, and I've been using this for 17 years. So, But uh, there is a significant functional difference there, probably with some adjustments, maybe sizing, maybe some tweaks to the thumb grip. Um, those, there's, those things might be improved, um, and, and also stabilization of the wrist. Or I could use it on this hand where I had the tendon transfer and I have some control of that wrist, and that might work a little better and have the full-size thumb. Um, but I do think there needs to be a little more reinforcement to keep that thumb pulled in so that you can see on this hand here, if I pull that thumb in, now I can get a three-point grasp. If the thumb's out to the side, you know, I can't get that three-point grasp. That's always going to be an issue. Um, anyway, uh, that's the review of the Neo Mano. Great job, guys. I mean, very challenging to do um, right out of the box. And uh, I, I mean, I love the product. I hope we can do more with it. And uh, I hope to hear from you soon.